His Excellency the President chaired an emergency session of the Cabinet meeting this morning. Uh, the session of Cabinet was convened, as you're all aware, uh, when he spoke on Saturday, to assess the impact of extreme weather as manifested in the above normal rainfall, uh, short rains classified by the Meteorological Department as the El Nino phenomenon. It has result resulted from the El Nino, of course, what has happened is that we have seen widespread flooding uh, that has regrettably led to the loss of lives, displacement of families, disease outbreaks, destruction of infrastructure and property, as well as prolonged power outages uh, across Kenya and many parts uh, of the East, Eastern Africa region. Cabinet, first and foremost, condoled with the bereaved families and all fa uh, persons adversely affected uh, by the devastating effects of this weather phenomenon. Consequently, Cabinet has sanctioned various policy and administrative interventions to augment the ongoing state mitigation and response being implemented by the national and county governments. The additional policy and administrative interventions sanctioned by Cabinet this morning will enhance our national resilience and preparedness for future weather and climate-driven disasters as well as better empower the state to prevent further loss of lives, destruction of property, and interruptions to our way of life arising from the El Nino situation. Now, as part of the preliminary assessment of the severity of the situation across the country, the meeting noted that 38 out of our nation's 47 counties are within the alarm stage, uh, a stage characterized by flash floods, general flooding in low-lying uh, plains, rivers busting their banks, landslides and mudslides, loss of livestock and destruction of farmland uh, and infrastructure. Cabinet noted with regret that we have lost 76 Kenyans to El Nino, while 35,000 households have been displaced. The most severely uh, affected areas are in the northeastern, north eastern, eastern and coast regions specifically, but of course there are more counties, as we're talking about 38, I'll just uh, uh, list them for you. In northeastern, the affected counties are Mandera, Wajir and Garissa, so that's the entire northeastern region. Uh, coast also, the entire region, Kilifi, Mombasa, Tana River, Taita, Taveta, Kuali, and Lamu. In central, Muranga, Nyeri, Kiambu, and Kirinyaga. In eastern, Isiolo, Kitui, Machakos, Makweni, Marsabit, uh, Meru, and Tharakanidhi counties. Uh, in Nyanza, the entire region as well, Homa Bay, Kisumu, Migori, and, uh, and Kisi. Western, Bungoma, Busi, and Kakamega counties. Rift Valley. Uh, the counties include Baringo, Bomet, Kajiado, Kericho, Nandi, Narok, Turkana, Transoia, Hosingishu, and West Pokot, and of course, in Nairobi. In that regard, Cabinet noted that the state uh, had allocated 7 billion shillings with which it is implementing various programs to address the plight of Kenyans across the country. The funds were appropriated by Parliament and the Contingencies Fund as part of the 2023-2024 financial year budget and supplementary appropriations number one of the same financial year. The resources committed will be applied for humanitarian response, including distribution and supply of medical commodities, food and non-food items, rehabilitation of infrastructure, and resettlement of displaced families. The state's intervention is being undertaken uh, in, joint in a joint effort between the national and county governments and which incorporates the Kenya Defense Forces and the National Youth Service in operation with the Kenya Red Cross Society. Through aircraft, aircraft made available by the Kenya Defense Forces, medical supplies have been airlifted uh, to the most vulnerable counties.